that we have news here courtesy of mix mag regarding boomtown um one of the surprise guests there is going to be prodigy that should be flipping amazing actually imagine that i always wanted to go to boomtown to be fair um i'm always i'm actually thinking of going to that festival in amsterdam so maybe that's why i won't go to boomtown and because boomtown is kind of expensive um i think the festival in amsterdam i could get the ticket and a tent for the same price of just a ticket to go to Boontown. So it's pretty crazy. Um, UK festivals are fucking expensive, but they are good value for money because you do get to have a flipping amazing time. The lineups are always stacked. The experience is always live. Um, for what I've heard, Boomtown has a really good um, crowd too. It varies in ages and scenes and stuff. And it's always a bit of a lit vibe. So I probably should be looking into going to there at one point in time. But the article says as follows. Boomtown just confirmed that the Prodigy will appear as a special guest at this year's festival. The Wichita-based festival um, confirmed the news yesterday, June 29th, alluding to the booking being the result of a decade-long pursuit to get the breakbeat pioneers to boomtown due to unprecedented demand taking place august 9 to 13 the prodigy will help boomtown celebrate its 15 year this year by closing a grand central stage on sunday the typical boomtown fashion this year's festival was given a particular theme which will surely influence much of the 60,000 capacity events um set dressing chapter two the twin trial the appearance marked Prodigy's first Winchester since 1992's Epochal Vision Ray Festival in Popham Airfield. The electronic outfit is set to play headline sets a number of festivals this summer, both in the UK and further afield. Uh, Boomtown said that it had been trying to keep their new guests under wraps, revealing in a press release that the festival guards and secrecy of its live full lineup with the big reveal happening shortly before the event kicks off, but had teased the booking across social media in recent weeks. That's pretty heavy, isn't it, to imagine that imagine people going to a festival not knowing who's on the lineup because part of the beauty of going to a festival is that you get more bang for your buck you get a lineup of like a hundred people but then you're only paying like 200 pounds so effectively you get to see all these amazing acts who would cost you way more than 200 pounds to see individually for far less over there and of course you get the camping experience meet new people bloody blah, blah 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 so the fact that they're able to sell out a festival like that with no lineup being revealed is crazy good co-founder luke mitchell said the prodigy's energy and immense production value and influence in the rave scene make them the perfect match for boomtown and i'm over the moon they've been able to finally get this nailed down and can now share the exciting news the prodigy are the most boomtown band on the planet catch the legendary electro punk uh, fusion band at mail street uh, hampshire um the final phase tickets can be accessed here if i'm not mistaken the fit tickets when i checked them last they were like 400 pounds or something so it's not the fucking cheapest festival in the world actually and it actually makes it difficult to make sense that it's a good place to go to especially with all the other places in europe that do sick festivals also um but let me just double check it i'm pretty sure it's like 400 or something okay sold out there let's see what phases they've got they've got that phase uh da, 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 da. let's do that one let's do green transport phase three i think that basically means green transport is that you're basically agreeing to travel as far as you can on public transport which is pretty crazy to be completely fair but where is it can i see it da, 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 da. let's say paying for let's go there and see how much tickets are but i'm pretty sure they're like 400 or something maybe i was mistaken let's see how much boomtown tickets were barbara come on give it to me let's see what the vibe is what how much damage is this gonna be uh 270 actually cheaper than i thought but if i'm not mistaken the one i'm meant to be going to in amsterdam is like 170 or something stupid like that let me just double check that but i'm pretty sure it is um am uh, was it no is it die damo something right damo damorphin is it damorphin damorphin festival is that what it's called i keep forgetting the fucking name actually myself which is really bad to be fair because i actually want to go and i'll keep forgetting the name of it but let me see what it's called. Um, it's not. It's, what's it called again? Oh shit! Is it Amorphin or something? Is that what it's called? Amorphin. Nope, it's not called Amorphin. Let me just check my thing. Maybe I have it somewhere listed on here. Bu, 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 bu. What's it called? There we go. It's called Dre Molin. Fucking hell! 
There we go. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Charlie Dublin. It's called Trey Molin. <laughs> Imagine saying you really want to go to a festival and you can't remember the name. That's a proper Brendan Shaw thing there to say, isn't it? <laughs> I really want to go, but I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Great festival, never met him. You know? <laughs> Great festival, have never been. Uh, let me see here what the tickets are saying here. I've actually got it up on here. There we go. Dre Molen Festival in the good old Amsterdam. Oh, it's not really Amsterdam. It's kind of outside of Amsterdam. Um, it's this place called Tilburg, if I'm not mistaken. So there it is. Let's see how much the flipping tickets are for this. I'm pretty sure it's like 170 last time I checked. But let me just double check again just to make doubly sure if Boomtown is a viable option. But Boomtown's 270 and it's not no travel for the sake of it you know what i mean um yeah so regular tickets are weekend tickets let's see we don't want friday tickets that's boring wow 110 euros 115 euros only that's fucking brilliant isn't it for a festival just outside of amsterdam in september too so you get plenty of time to save money if that's the thing and also even the camping tickets aren't too shabby last time i checked the camping tickets were decent so you can have that camping ticket for 51 euros or you can have camping accommodation, which I'll probably end up getting because I'm fucking, you know. Oh, no, the teepees are done. See? Shit. Okay, cool. So I guess I have to bring my own tent. <laughs> Oopsie. No fucking accommodation for me because they, they had these little teepee options that you could do. But I guess I have to bring my own tent and fucking put that up, which is absolutely, you know, not something that I want to do in the slightest in a way. But hey, definitely might have to give it a go. So yeah, 115 euros to go to Dre Molin or 280 to go to fucking Boomtown. As much as I love Boomtown, I've already made my choice. I've already made my choice. <laughs>